boring. It's a tough thing to find the right people, and unfortunately, things happen in life that affect, you know, uh, being in a band of people, you know, it always doesn't work out. And, uh, you know, I was with Bill and Terry for quite a while, and uh, th we were definitely more than just band members, we were best friends. So that's also another factor that's really a drag when you lose members, sometimes friendship is involved, and that I think is the main issue in my opinion. We can't tolerate inconsistency because, you know, other tours were canceled, you know, we were willing to, to do those tours. And uh, for other various reasons, Chuck wouldn't, you know, go over to Europe and tour. So this this time we were determined to go, no matter what. You know, death touring, and I'm in Florida is just a really incredible um, concept, you know, in general. And uh, you know, it depressed me at certain times. And I try to get over there at one point, and it's just not a very good situation. There's a lot of. Uh, you know, bad things going on out there as far as, you know, feelings towards me in general. And uh, so, you know, I didn't make it out there, unfortunately. I wanted to, but never did. We were left with no choice but to fulfill the obligations of the contracts we had, you know. And One thing that um, Chuck doesn't realize, see, he, at this moment, he thinks that, you know, you know, we were all good friends. He thinks me and Terry turned our back on him yeah. and went over there with that when he was having problems. There's a lot of emotional stuff involved. It's a real drag. You know, people just look at me being a jerk, obviously, I guess in their eyes, because I, you know, have problems with lineups. But, you know, I don't understand that. Just because I have problems doesn't mean I'm hard to get along with. But right now, me and Bill are going to put out this Massacre album with the original members. We're supposed to record the album in uh, three weeks. It'll be out in mid. Are you going to become permanent members of um, At this moment, right now, I'm not sure, but we're going to do this album for sure. Just for sure, this yeah. album, you know. Just I've always wanted to put. See, when when I had Massacre going in '84, '85, there was you know none of these bands, yeah. DSI, none of that stuff, you know, and and we couldn't get a record deal. We tried, so tried, our life. and now you know when I got in death, all these bands came out and got deals instantly. So yeah. I just want to put this record out. All the old material will be real simple, but it'll be brutal. Yeah, sure, I guess there's competition on the market, but you know I feel very positive about the material I put out. I think it, you know, stands on its own, and people know a death record when they put it on. Well, at the moment, you know, I'm working on new material. I've got half the record down right now. Um, I got friends of mine from the band Cynic. You know, the drummer Sean and guitar player Paul are helping me out, rehearsing, they're, you know, going to help me out in the studio, and so it's really great. You know, it's good to know I still have friends. Cynic approximately formed in November of 87. Uh, I guess we didn't actually become serious till the middle or end of 89, or throughout 89 actually, when we released our first official demo, Reflections. And then, you know, we kept, I guess, challenging ourselves musically and finding more creative direction and more uh, input and, and everything, you know, the whole, our whole self-evaluation improved throughout the years and we finally ended up with this lineup. We released the, uh, the 90 demo in 90 and I guess till now, which we're intending to hopefully release an album by, which would probably hopefully be out by the beginning of 92, we're figuring. Florida yeah. is not like an, an attendance place as far as like playing wise. I haven't seen massive halls or like when we have we play out of town, the, the, the attendance is usually double that and more much more enthusiastic than it is down here. Which kind of like makes me wonder what the Florida scene is. Hi, my name is Evil Don. I'm the singer for Mortuary. And things are going pretty good with the band so far. We just finished our first demo. Hopefully we'll get it somewhere. <laughs> The guy with the tie-dye, Mike, and I'm going to hand the mic to Mike. 
mortuary is about being brutal. We want to see bodies fly, bodies slamming, blood, puke, piss, you name it. We want it. A band coming out of here, I think, has a, has a better chance just because they're from here. You know, it's like, it's known everywhere. You know, Tampa, Tampa for heavy music is like L.A. is for, like, bag music, you know? It just, people look here, man. It's like, got death, obituary, atheist, deicide, deicide, man. Morbid angel, you know, it's just, the area is hot, man. It's just, the clubs in the clubs haven't got it yet, you know? Yeah, the fans are generally mostly musicians. Yeah. Um, the people that are in bands. Well, if it's all ages. Um, yeah, if it's all ages, you get quite a bit of a crowd. Yeah, the, um, the club scene, you know, the 18 and over, 21 and over, you know, is, uh, is a little bit lacking as far as the number of people, you know. We are done! Yeah. Have a border, and we need a bass player. All y'all motherfucking thrashing people come out here and jump! There's a, a lot of competition, uh, attitude wise like um you know everyone as you know what the neat thing is as soon as the band comes out the record these days they're just they're bigger than metallica or whatever in their eyes and it's a long fucking battle and just struggle to get to the top of that ladder you know the music deal i think that uh i think it's it's getting really big um in terms of overrated no because there's a lot of good talent here um i think that the talent that's here is making it, and then there's like an entity that's trying to exploit the talent and make something somewhat of, it's, it's really becoming a trend. But uh, I think the good bands that are good bands are gonna survive, and the rest is just gonna move on like they always do. We all get along pretty well. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's a few things here that, that I think a lot of magazines and interviews that, that they try and eat at the, the false parts or the parts that you will if someone says something to, about us that's, you know, they say this little bit, that magazine's going to break it up and make it this big, and it'll, co it'll cause a controversy through the bands. But when we're all together and we play shows together, everyone's basically friends, you know. I don't know if the music can get too much more extreme. People don't give a fuck, you know. It's being accepted and being uh, that, that extremity is almost common now. I don't know whether all the bands really always want to play fast. When we talk to them, they all say, well, anybody can play fast, but it doesn't mean we play better. Every band has their own, uh, their own identity. It shouldn't stay underground or only as big as it, it is now. I hope that it will get big because it should. I would love to see it. I think it, that in the 1990s, that I think it will definitely grow more than it, and it has been in the past five years, ten years.